All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Hollis from Inspired by God Ministry. And today we are having this discussion on high blood pressure and natural remedies to reverse hypertension using God's eight laws of health. I know this here is just uh, the beginning of the first day. It's going to start off small and it's going to grow. And I want to welcome everyone that is online and and uh, and invite everyone to use the comment and to put a questions or anything in the comments so we could be able to share this here. We are make, recording this so it could also go live on Facebook, live on um, YouTube tomorrow. So it's gathering content. So I, I just want to be able to share. We have other questions that people have sent in. So we want to be able to answer these questions and be able to relate it to what presently that is going on in their life. I know I have a brother that is on and more people is going to come on later and they were going to see this presentation and this able to get a question answered and maybe some questions that we're going to ask or answer is going to be beneficial to somebody that is going to be looking at this. So it's maybe not for us, but it might be for someone. All right. So let us begin. You know, we're talking about high blood pressure and I want to make sure we just put out a disclaimer and let me put a disclaimer out as we begin. Uh, close that out there. Put this here, the disclaimer. All right. It said, the information I'm about to present to you is not intended for use as medical advice. Okay? The information is intended for general knowledge only and is not a substitute for medical advice or treatment for any specific medical condition. And as we already put that, that disclaimer out there, so we know that people have some questions. One of the questions that people came out was, how does your blood pressure and your circul circulatory system work? So they were asking these questions, but I, I can't go forward yet before we have a quick word of prayer. Now let's have a word of prayer before I jump into the hall, answering some questions and being able to give answers. Okay, so let's have a word of prayer. All right, let's have a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, as we come before you, we thank you, Lord, for your many mercies and your grace and your goodness. And we thank you that you were able to be with us and keep us and that we are able to be here in the land of the living. I'm just trying to be uh, mindful of people's time. And I know there's questions that was given and asked, and we just want to be able to answer. And we know that as we go forward, we're going to have more people asking more questions. So I just want to be able to give that answer in Jesus' name. We do pray. Amen. Okay. All right. So let us... So let us begin. All right. So one of, let me remove this, put this over here. All right. And let's get this right here where people can get it. All right. So how does your blood pressure and circulatory system work? So this was a question that people had asked. So how does your circulatory system work? And we want to be able to answer some of these questions. My wife and I, we just um, uh, finally finished our um book launch the best to, or launch our book to bestseller and dealing with high blood pressure and I actually give the secrets of reversing high blood pressure naturally okay I'm going to bring that up in in as well let me try to bring that picture in as we talk about it I want to get that that photo in so people can actually see what I'm talking about why I'm talking about it but even before I get to answer these questions you know what I mean I want to share this preliminary stuff here first all right beautiful here it is right here and there it is okay so our book just became bestseller and and it's about the detox solutions the secrets the secrets for reversing blood pressure for professional women and in, in that book, we have a great, a lot of secrets, a lot of things that when you combine them together, you could be able to, in 30 days, get from high blood pressure to low blood pressure in 30 days. And this is one of the, and, and also to lose weight. You know, sometimes weight, most times weight is also related to high blood pressure as well. Diabetes and other stuff is also related to, but this, this year is so specific. And it, because it's dealing with the high blood pressure and it's so specific because it's dealing with professional people that cannot just stay, go to a place for 30 days or they cannot um, commit to something that 
over a long period of time, but it's something as they're busy, they have to go to work, they have their bills to pay, there's things that needs to be done. This year gives them everything in in a kind of nutshell that they could follow systematically on instead of it has um some day by day schedules and and recipes and and formulas and everything that once you put it together in 30 days, diet, exercise, the eight laws, everything, it actually gives great significant results. You know, I, I don't want to talk too much about this right now because I just want that's an intro. But I would tell people that you could get this book off of Amazon and you could also get this off of our website. I'm going to share the link in the in the description. We'll just type that link and put it in the description for me in the in the comments and we'll go from there. But anyway, so the questions that people was asking, they talk about the, the circular system. And most times people only consider the heart as the as the pump, as we say, that that is all that is related to the circulatory system. But we know as well that the circulatory system has to deal not just only with the heart, but also to do with the different blood vessels and everything that relates to the heart and as and how it how it how if the but the blood vessels are clogged in any way, how that could impede the, the flow of blood and that could dramatically affect your blood pressure. So, you know, there's things that we need to consider as well. Diet, exercise, um, um, talk about the fat intakes. You know, some people are attributed only to um, only to um, um, like diabetes or stuff like that. But there's also the, the things that when it comes to fat content as well. And we'll talk about that as well. But the circulatory system is very important. And, you know, we know the circulatory system has to do with blood coming into the heart, leaving the heart, circulating the body, going through the, the arteries and returning back to the, the heart by the different veins, capillary, capillaries, and, and all that stuff. But I want to let you all know, people, something. Hypertension, it don't, it don't have to be the silent killer. You don't have to be the silent killer because it, it, sometimes high, hypertension, high blood pressure gives enough warning. It, get, it don't just happen overnight. Certain things happen that it tells you. Sometimes there are little subtle pains, little subtle changes that if you were able to understand and, and read your body, the language of your body, you could be able to know as how to prevent it or when it starts out to get a control of it. And you know, and even though you already have it, how to be able to reverse it. And this one is something that we are going to delve in as we go in. I know I'm going to give some information, some of these slides that I'm going to present. I'm not going to talk too much on them because I know some people have, it's been recorded and some people could be able to take pictures and, and grab the information or whatever they need. But I just want to cover certain points of asset because I want to get down to some key points, okay? I want to get to the key, some of the key points. And so hypertension, atherosclerosis and stuff like these have something in common. It has to do with inflammation. Yes, that's right. Inflammation. And inflammation, when it comes to circulatory blockage and stuff, you might say, why? That's unrelated. It's directly related. And when inflammation swells up, you know, like when you have a, a, something on your leg and it swells up and it has a pus, there are certain blood vessels, arteries more specifically, that has that same kind of swelling effect that creates some kind of, as we say, pus. And that is where the information starts. And that's where the whole, the whole cascade of events starts. And if we understand that it starts from inflammation, okay, then we will know exactly what we need to do to, in order to correct our body, our our high blood pressure. It's, 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 it's a radical change. It's a radical thinking. And it's something that once you all understand it, it's going to play a lot of tension. But, you know, sometimes people forget that, you know, what is high blood pressure? What is a normal, high, a normal blood pressure? And a normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. When your systolic number is 120, and the diastolic number is 80, okay? So the way we remember it is San Diego, you know? The 
San Diego, 120 over 80. Okay, the squeezing and the decompression of the arteries or the blood vessels, and that's how we, we calculate the blood pressure based upon the, the American standard, 120 over 80. But we, not much people have a normal blood pressure. And that's why we are here, because a lot of people are seeing blood pressure more related to these. And 140 over 90. And 140 over 90 in a significant way, when people see this, is a, is a telltale sign of hypertension. It's a, a sign that the hospital system uses that when they see these numbers, these two specific numbers, anything above 140, everything above 90, they actually now could, they say that you have um, hypertension. And I would say hypertension is not something that is just diagnosed in a one-time event, but it needs to be diagnosed over a period of, say, let's say, time. Let's use three days, for instance. Consistently checking your blood pressure for three days, if your numbers remain over 140, over 90, yes, you're hyper hypertensive. You are having high blood pressure. But if you just maybe one time test, go to the emergency room or something like that. That's not a that's not a diagnostic for high blood pressure. And a lot of people that are viewing this thing that were sometimes misdiagnosed by just having a one time event test, and they realize that their blood pressure is high. But there are many reasons that could cause it. Some some person might have to walk to their appointment. Okay, and then accustomed walking so much. Some people might be under stress. Some people might have had some kind of event happen on that day, and that would cause their blood pressure to get high. Some people again also are afraid of white coat. So just being in a hospital, uh, in the hospital or in a doctor's office, cause their blood pressure to just go high. You know what I mean, normally they are fine, but as soon as they are wrong, somebody that has a white coat, they think their mind goes and their the, the blood pressure raise. That's not true. That's not a true diagnosis for hypertension, okay? But as I said, if you're consistently checking your blood pressure consistently for three days and you're seeing these numbers, 140 over 90, okay? Then, then there's a problem. Or if you see it's coming up from, from 137, 138 going up, you know, or moving from 180 to 185, 87, then going to, to 90, the bottom number, yes. Then you gotta, there's some things that you need to do and there's action that you could make. And that's what, some of the things that are outlined in the book is gonna help you as well. But I'm gonna cover some of these here because I want this to be beneficial to the people that are gonna view this thing, that they know that there's things that they could do right now in the comfort of their own home that could help and also potentially reverse their high blood pressures, okay? So I just wanna get um to this thing here. All right, right here we have uh, a chart showing the different stages of high blood pressure. And we got low blood pressure, normal blood pressure, elevated blood pressure, stage one, stage two, and hypertensive crisis. Okay, hypertensive crisis 180 over 120. Now, you, some people will say that is so high. That's cr we have seen people that have. 200 and 200 plus over 130 something, 140 something, and they are normal, <laughs> okay? And 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 I'll just give a, a small testimony of somebody we know. Just recently, we were on a mission trip doing some work in a in, a, in an island, and we had a one of the 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 student having the high blood pressure. Their blood pressure was consistently over 180 over 220. I told you at that point in time when we checked it was over 200 and something over 150 something and they were in the class. Okay, we was doing the same talk, a same discussion and going and testing everybody around. And this this lady was with high blood pressure. We immediately we started to take actions. We started to give them some of the steps that we're going to outline in this this demonstration, this this thing that what they did and after doing it 
emergency, we brought their blood sugar, blood pressure down in within the 30 minutes. We brought them down because there's a um, something that there's a trick to bring the blood pressure down significantly and to get it out of that crisis area. Okay, but then we put them on a, on a system. We put them through the health the system that we we work to that we have consistently worked and have great success with, and we put them through that system. And just the other day, okay, <laughs> just the other day, she called and said, started to send me all her results of her blood pressure readings. And her blood pressure readings were bound to 120, 119 over 81, 127 over 82. And, and she was so happy because she had never seen those numbers for a very long time. <laughs> and after following the system that we had laid out with her, the protocols and the step-by-step -step way to do it, she is right now being so thankful to God first because God is a great healer, but also to, to God and remedies because God had laid certain things down in the herbs and in the different steps that it, that if we were diligently follow it because the children back in, the, in Adam time all live up to 900 and something years, okay? 900, 800 plus plus years. And it's because of when something was introduced, and we know that to be the diet when it comes to eating meat. But when they put a diet with us eating meat, you saw that their lifespan decreases. And once you reverse back the idea and bring them back to the Edenic diet, okay? that they were living, that they could potentially increase back their life, increase back their age, increase back their overall health, and even reverse their high blood pressures. And they, they, I'm telling you, there's some great things, great simple things that is, is also in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. And there's also good science that once you add them together, combined in a great way, it gives significantly marvelous results. And that's one of the things, even some of that testimony is also in the book and the step-by-step -step program that was laid out is also in that book as well. But as we want to cover it here, great. I know it's going to be excited. Trust me, we don't know. Tomorrow tomorrow evening, we're going to have another person coming on on, the, on this call, going to give um, their testimonies of how they were, where they was, and how they are now. And these things is everybody that, that we have, Put our hands to God said, put your hands to the plow that we have worked with. They're actually growing, growing better and better toward better health. Okay. And a lot of these people are now praising God. And because God is the one really, because the Bible says in, in um it's Exodus, Exodus 15, 26, that I'm the Lord that healed thee. Is God is the one that healed thee, and God is the one that needs to get all the thanks and praise. We just bring in on this on this thing to give you some examples of where God uses certain instruments to bring about certain um, outcomes, so that He could get the glory and the grace. Okay. So, so let let's go a quick overview of some of the stuff that we we normally do. <clears throat> so. Conventionally, and this is this is important why you have to sometimes follow the conventional system. The conventional system was patterned really after the copy tend to copy God. I'm just gonna use it as simple like that. The conventional simple system somewhat copy God's way. But you know, they had to put in their way because it is it it they had to patent it. So they had to put in certain things that is um that is patable, patternable. You know what I mean? And but um, I'm, I, so I'm not gonna. We are not here to um to to talk bad about the doctors or any kind of stuff because they have their role and 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 places. Okay. So I'm just saying that God always lays down. God always the one first to lay down the framework, and the devil always try to come in and pattern or copy it. Okay. But sad to say. The system that the devil patterns is 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 there is is there written out so you, it's easily followed if you really understand what you're seeing, okay? Because they speak in in symbols and symbols and in signs. 
So let's look at this, for instance. I'll give you an example. The systems right now, if a person have high blood pressure, they have high blood pressure, the the system says that if you have high blood pressure, you will see three signs. It's called the A, B, Cs. It's like following the alphabet. The A, B, Cs. A is achy head. If you're looking at the screen, you're going to be the top, top right corner. A, achy head, blurred vision, or chest pains. So the ABC, somebody complaining that they have achy head, blurred vision, or chest pain, this is a sign that somebody is having something related to heart, blood pressure issues, hypertension, okay? So there's a the, the, the way the system is set up, it has some, they, they call it the BCDs and E's, and I'm going to call it the BCDs and S, okay? But as I said, it's documented. So we, we, we could use it because God is God's system that they are just copying and following, okay? Originally. So the B, they use beta blockers. They give drugs. And the types of drugs is the beta blocker, the calcium channel blocker, the vasodilators, okay? And the E is the ICU and emergency room. As I told you, we don't follow the E. We follow the S, okay? And I'll tell you what the S is just now. But the B, the beta blockers, we don't use the drug, the beta blockers drugs, okay? We you we try to show people that the drugs that they're using is harmful. They, they, they said drug never cures. And that there's a, a there's a good author that write exactly that quote, drug never cures. And that's one of my favorite authors anyway. And because this here is going to be viewed to, to general people out in population, if you want to know who that order is, I would love to share that order with you. Here, books, you're going to see this, some of the presentation, that beautiful order that we always reference. Okay? But there, God has some natural beta blocker. So you don't have to take that drug, that beta blocking drugs, because the beta blocking drugs tends to, tends to do certain things to the, to the body. And it, it destroys also the liver. It actually creates other problems in the kidneys, okay? So you want to do some natural beta blockers. And when you study out some natural beta blockers, you will find on top of the one of the simple and most natural beta blocker that is also in your home or in everybody home. If they look in their cupboard or their pantry, they will see a natural beta blocker. Yes, what I'm talking about, a simple herb called garlic. <laughs> That's right. A simple herb called garlic is a natural beta blocker. That's right. And, and another great herb, again, is hawthorn berry. Hawthorn berry. All right? Hawthorn berry and, and garlic. And the next beautiful one is bar berry. Bar berry. So remember those herbs. Okay? Hawthorn berry, garlic, and bar berry. Great beta blockers. All right? So, so traditionally, these herbs, okay, were used in, in animal studies, and they have shown that they lower blood pressure levels significantly. Okay? And this is just one study here that I'll give you the barberry. There's also other studies with the garlic and the heart on. But I, just for cutting for time, I just wanted to bring that out to show that this, there's some natural things that were, at first, the cut, what was used originally, the milk manual, if you ever look into the milk manual, that was one of the first things that they were using as beta blockers to be able to help people um, lower their blood pressure rate, okay? And it was natural. You could just go and go and go in the, the, the garden or go in the cupboard and get those things. But it has since changed to some things that are more synthetic, and more patternable, okay? Okay? Yeah. It says, um, there's a famous quote that says, um, it might, it doesn't make a lot of dollars, or it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it make a lot of dollars, something that I think. <laughs> anyway, the idea is that they, it's patternable, so it, it makes a lot of dollars, okay? Okay? But it might not make a lot of sense. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> All right. Another natural, natural beta blocker, just want to add this in here, natural beta blocker is um, CoQ10. CoQ10 is a 
create natural pore beta blocker. Okay? And now these were some of the beta blockers that they have. But in, in a great, another great beta blocker, and we didn't want to mention it here because it's proven, it, the scientific journals shows about it. it um, it's, it's so powerful that it actually, this is one of the things that lady was using in the system. And ah, should I say it right now? Let's just leave those three beta blockers right now. Because these three beta blockers right now is where you could start with. But if you want to know more or less what we did to with a lady in the other country that we went to and the others that are here in America that we use and give them, we'll share that with you as well because it's also in the book. So you will see it as well if you ever had if you had the book in your hand. Anyway, another, as I said, there's the, the BCDs. We just covered beta blockers. But let's let's go back again. So now we're on the, the beta blocker. We already can't, can't finish beta blocker. We look let me look at the, the C in the calcium channel blocker. The calcium channel blocker. Okay. That's what we're gonna we're gonna talk about. The calcium channel blocker. So again, I'm not gonna I'm gonna skip through some of the things because I'm gonna go through the drugs that are that are normally prescribed, okay? Because we are not here as um as as in pushing drugs, <laughs> you know I mean, but these are prescribed drugs that they give, and I'm just let me just flash some of them just uh, just a small quick list because these are some of the just a small list of things that that some people might be taking right now at home right now, okay, and based on what country or what um uh, what state you're in, you're probably taking one of these um these normal prescribed prescribed um medicine per se okay and i say maybe we have normal prescribed drugs okay i'm just going to be playing his drugs okay so we have to look for some natural alternatives and natural alternatives that we need to know as a great calcium channel blocker now the reason why i tell you is a beta 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 channel blocker the, the calcium channel blocker and the um the vasodilators because some way along the line when a person have high blood pressure, they will either fall into one of these drugs or multiple of these drugs, okay? And so, if you know, based upon where you're at, if you are, uh, your drug is a beta blocker, then you can use, as I said, a natural beta blocker. If you fall into the drugs that you're using as a calcium channel blocker, you will want to look for a natural alternative for that, okay? If your drug is a vasodilator, some kind of prill or or otherwise, then you got to look for a, herb, a natural alternative for it. And it's good because you could use it together with whatever you're taking and then be able to have your doctor to to sign you off of the things that you're, once your blood pressure becomes back in normal range. And anyway, so we're talking about the calcium channel blocker and we want to find some natural ones, okay? So some natural calcium channel blockers. And these, this list here is not exhaust because once you're, once you're eating some of these things, taking these into your meals, taking these into your, into your system, okay, then that could also help to relax and soothe the heart muscles, okay? So the calcium channel blocker, let's go back there again so I'll let you see something here, okay? The calcium channel blocker a lot is actually what it does is try to stop the heart, slow down the heart and to, to relax the muscles. That's what it, the, the calcium channel blocker does. It relaxes the muscle, the arteries, so it is not too compressed. So it's opening out so the blood could be able to flow. So most times the blood Vessels are constricted. Uh, there's some force, some tension, some stress, whatever is going on. And it needs to be uh, open out, relax. So the calcium channel blocker relaxes those muscles. Okay? And so uh, some great calcium channel blockers, I, I, I gave that list, but another great calcium channel blocker is something as simple as ma magnesium. Anybody ever had... Um, any injury on the legs or muscle strains or anything like that, and you spray the the spray 
um, some some magnesium spray or Epsom salt or something like that. That is great, my great. And you see, after a while, it relaxes. You have to sleep better. Same thing by magnesium in the diet when it comes to dealing with calcium channel, okay? Magnesium is a great calcium channel blocker. And there's many natural sources of magnesium as well, as you can see from the list. This exhaust is a great many sources of calcium, uh, of magnesium, okay? And these things, if your diet is including of some of these things and in a nice way, together with all the other things, and your system, this system that we want to share with you at the end is going to be amazing because you don't have to have high blood pressure. And this is why we're going to share this all over the world. Okay? So let's get back to this thing. Again, as we come down the chart, let me look back on the chart again. So we have caught on the, we're still on the right side of the chart. Okay? On the, on the, sorry, on the, from watching the screen on the left side. So we already can finish the beta, the beta blockers, the CC, these with the calcium channel blockers. We're now on D, which is vasodilators. Okay? So let's look at the vasodilators in, in a way that could be able to that could be able to see some natural alternatives. So as again, the vasodilators help to put the heart to sleep. Okay? To let the heart be at rest. You know, when a person has high blood pressure, they, they maybe some people have high pulse rates, some people have um a um, lot of stress when it uh, anxieties, a lot of um just stiffness in their bodies when it comes to uh, chest pains or other things related to it. Actually, it also has a, a lot of put a lot of problem on the the extremities, the legs, the the you know, swelling edema is um swollen legs, those kind of stuff. So you want to be able to um, put the heart to rest, to let it relax a bit, okay? So some vasodilators is what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to skip through all the 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 prills and all the other stuff that is normally given and come to some natural vasodilators. Oh, boy, boy. And, and, and listen to me. To get these things together with with other aspect of diet and health and following a 30-day program, a 30-day system, you could be from where you are to where you desire to be, okay? A lot of times people don't really count the course of stuff that that they are missing out on, okay? Because they um, being have to pay a lot of, they already paid a lot of expense when it comes to going to the doctor's office, time away from families, um, waiting in line, doctor's offices, they 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 had paid a lot of even when it comes to the prescription or other things, you know, they already paid a lot and people are fill up paying a lot. They just want to be able to get rid of this problem and be able to live free. And I don't know if anybody's out there gonna be hearing me, but if you are wanting to live free and offer these stuff, just comment, okay? Just comment to live free. Okay, in the chat, okay, that you want to live free, that you desire to, to be away from these things. You, God doesn't want us to be in bondage, to be locked in and cannot go forward, cannot enjoy life, cannot um be able to bless others and be a blessing. Okay, but anyway, that's a side note, anyway. But let's go to this point here. So, vasodilator, the natural vasodilator is your, your B vitamins called the B3. Niacin. Niacin is such a great vasodilator. A great vasodilator together with things that are that are natural and free. Okay. The 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 you know, the, the grapefruit, the pomegranate, just all these wonderful um fruits that are you know, that has a, the, the beta carotins, very good to help put the heart to rest. You ever heard people, somebody tells you, maybe doctor has prescribed, most people that who are on the vasodilator, they said, do not take, do not consume citrus, especially grapefruit, because it's going to cause your blood pressure to drop too low. 
So uh, that means something in the grapefruit is going to cause your blood pressure to drop. Together with the medication and the grapefruit, it will drop too low. By itself, grapefruit will let it drop naturally. Naturally. So the grapefruit is a natural vasodilator. Okay? And I'm going to go. There's also another great one that we talk about in the book that is actually the one that actually brought the lady blood pressure from 200 and something over 150 something down to normal 128 over 85 and she has the thing and we're going to have all those slides as we go forward and herself and other people are going to be coming on and giving testimonies of what they have done what they have overcome and giving God the glory but anyway again I said we mentioned some of this stuff in the book in the book we mentioned it in our book as well so that people could also you know be able to see it and actually follow the principle the steps that are laid out in there one by one okay and so let me get this the screen up here um so the book the secret to lowering blood blood pressure naturally for professional women the secrets to lowering blood pressure blood pressure naturally for professional women and, and some people don't understand this there's some things that are secret out there that they don't want to share with you. But God said, I'm going to bring the light. And the light is going to make manifest the things that are hidden, that are in darkness, and bring it into light. And that's why we want to be able to share the light that God has given us and that people are benefiting from, that the majority of people don't have to suffer. Okay? So let's go forward on this here a bit. So, um... I, I see some people have some question. Maybe do, do you want to ask the question? Ask the question. Ask the, one of the questions. I could bring it in right now. So let me let me just address this question that came up over on this side over here. Let me see. Let me go backwards here. That's. Let me just add that right there. And before I address this question, okay. So let me see if I can read this question on this side over here. All right. So. Uh huh. Should I ask? Okay, let's skip through that question. Let's ask this question here. All right. So somebody asked where they could get a book, where they could get this book. All right. That's what this book here. That book is on Amazon, and we also have it on our website. Okay, it's on Amazon. Just search Shentoya Stewart. Shentoya Stewart. S H E N T O Y A Stewart. Shintoya Stewart, and it's also going to be on, yeah, the detox solution, okay? But the website is going to be, I mean, type it in the in the chat for me so I can get it. I can put it in the chat, and then I, I don't mention it out here so I can, but okay, it's going to be, the, on our website is going to be the um, detox book, detoxbook.shintoya.com, detoxbook.shintoya.com. So Amazon have it for a, a price with a physical copy, and we try to have it available at a less price on our website. So, so I just give you two different options. Some people buy they want to buy the book off of Amazon. People trust Amazon, and they like prefer to buy certain things off Amazon. So it's on Amazon, and it's also on our website. So it's detox book d e t o x b o o k dot shentoya dot com. All right. Detoxbook.shentoya.com. So it's on Amazon for $24.99. We have it for $19.99 on the detox book. Okay. So detoxbook.shentoya.com. So I just given people options. Okay. And we also had the, the um the 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 ebook as well on Amazon. You could you could buy it there as well. Anyway, um there's some other questions coming on there. Let me see. Okay. All right, so the one question is, uh huh. Well, should I answer that right now? People are, want to know what what this book is all about, and is there this outline steps in that book? Yes, there's outline steps in that book. That book has 
the protocols, the step-by-step, the till the day, step-by-step way that you could be able, you also have meal plan, grocery, um, just the different things. Like It's like walking with you to be able to have the results that you need, the desire that you're coming to. And we also, in that book, you also have some free gifts. We have a free gift in there that we, is also in the book as well. There's also in the book some journals and a cooking recipe and um, the step-by-step -step program because this is a whole thing. You know, this thing is not just one pill. You take a pill and you, you're okay. No, mm -mm. if it's not like, if the blood pressure came over years, it wouldn't go away in a day. Well, sorry, God is able to make stuff go away in his own time. But if you follow the system that we're going to, that we laid out, we don't allow people to just do this by themselves. This is not a, a, a DIY project. You just buy the thing and you go home and do it yourself. Okay? We do it with you. We have some, even in that book, there's also a system that we hands-on working with you together to bring. It's because when you are successful, we are successful. Once we, when you get a great testimony, it only helps us. So we, our our mission is to make you successful, to make you don't have it, so that you will have a great testimony. Okay? You see, you know, compared to the medical system, they want you to be sick so they could get paid. No, no, no. We want you to get better. We want you to get we We don't get paid until you get better. <laughs> if you understand me? So that's why our system is different from the world. Okay? And because God, God is laid out there for us. Everything is there for us. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna catch any other question. I'm gonna have to bring in my wife because she will have to answer some of the other questions and stuff. And I'm not gonna go there because they're not gonna have us finish. We only have a certain ten more minutes, and I want to get, you know, some things. Anyway, I say back to the chat again. Let's talk about the the BCDs, recovered beta blocker, because called, and also in the book also tells you that super beta blocker that is in that is good that is growing in everyone's yard. <laughs> and it was used all up until this um, a certain year, 1990, where they, they now make it mandatory that you take a certain beta blocker, okay? But anyway, we're gonna talk about talk about that. So we cover the, child, the calcium channel blockers, and we also cover some vasodilator, okay? But they, they, they normally, when they, you get this, this blood pressure, 180 over 120, they always try to put you to the emergency room, to the ER, and those kind of stuff. No, 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 no. If you at any time have high blood pressure and you have seen those numbers, give us a call, okay? Because right now we have also, we, the S, we call the S instead of the ER, we have S. We have a place called a sanitarium. Other people call it a lifestyle center, okay? But where we could take you from where you are and bring you through a system that you could be able to learn and implement over a period of time, 30 days, that you could be able to come away better than you were. With our system is, is there's a system where you could come into the scientific or we could do it from you in a virtual way, a virtual way where we could work with you in, in that system because it's gonna, we, some people just need accountability. And that's where we are there for accountability to help you be where you want to be, okay? And that's all also is covered in the book as well. There's a link to it also to, to follow that system, but I'll just let you look into that on your own. All right, so I want to go through the diseases and the heart and of heart, the arteries. And as I told you, look to information. That's why the book is called a detox solution because there's, there's things that we need to get out of our body, because sometimes we don't understand that we don't have a high blood up, high blood pressure problem. We have a, a a toxin problem. Some people don't understand that that they have a toxin problem and they don't have a high blood pressure problem. Okay, and so if you're able to detox your body and get your body in there, tell you about information. If you're able to get that information out from causing the arteries to be blocked up, then you can see that you could have free flowing blood and a better heart okay and this that's some of the stuff that people don't understand so i want to get down 
to one of the things that, and I'm just going to introduce this here because we we there's a writing of one of my when you my great author, okay, she says disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that results from a violation of the laws of health. So disease, high blood pressure, which is a disease, is an effort of nature to free the system, circulatory system, from conditions that result from a violation of the laws of health. And we're going to unpack this as we go through this, these days. But once we understand there was something was violated, we had violated something, that's why high blood pressure comes. Then once we 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 abide by the laws, then blood pressure goes away. So you know, if you're speeding down the road, doing 90 in a 50, you attract the cops. But if you're driving on the road and you're obeying the speed law, you don't attract the cops. <laughs> the cops don't worry you. That's the idea. We don't want you to have any problems anymore. God shows it and he outlines it and he gives you step by step to achieve it. And you can achieve it. Okay? All the other systems that are out there that people fail, you know, like different fats, you know, the high blood, um, the Atkins diets and all these kind of stuff, that won't work because this is not a, this is not a fad. It's a system that was laid out and it's, if we follow it diligently, it, you know, you can't help but succeed. We can't help but get better. You can't help but have great blood pressure. Okay? So, all right, let me see the time. We have six minutes, and I just want to come, let me just move quickly across to some things here, because as I said, this year, we're going to unpack this over more time, but I just want to give people something that they could see and know before. I know there's these questions are coming up on this side over here, but I don't want to, I can't address all the questions. I know that this thing here is got this called question and answers. So let me before answer some questions. So let me look on the chat. There's not there's nothing on the chat in on this thing group here, but there's chats on this side here. So who is more important? Let me see. Over here, over here, over here. All right, all right. Let me let, because they have no chat with me here on this system and our platform right now, and these systems over there. I just want to be able to answer some questions directly from one over there. But from if I had some in here, I would answer it in here. But I want to get forward to something that could could really help somebody somewhere. Okay? And I want to talk about coronary heart disease. Coronary heart disease and atherosclerosis. Okay? And high cholesterol. You see, these these three has something in common. Actually, there's a fourth one now, and it is called sudden death syndrome. But I want to pull that in here because there's a lot of things that are associated with it that could be kind of questionable. So I want to go right there. But I'm just going to stay with the facts when it comes to coronary heart disease, atherosclerosis, high blood pressure. What do all three of them have in common? And all of them have this in common. It's that yellow fatty build up in there. And we commonly, we always talk about telling you about talking about toxins, and I tell you about um, inflammations, and I told you about what is blocking. So let's, I'm gonna unpack this over the next couple of days, and go into it more. But I'm just gonna give, um, just give this one quote from one of my favorite author, from my my favorite author here. Before I go, and then I'll just leave one um one solution on the line, and then I'll try to answer one question and then we'll call it done because I know the time is there. We only try to be on there for one hour. So I'll just give this one quote here, and it says, it says, by the use of poisonous drugs, many bring upon themselves lifelong illness, and many lives are lost that might be saved by the use of natural methods of healing they say by the use of poisonous drugs okay many bring upon themselves lifelong illnesses and that's one of the things that i was i want to cover and share with people here that sometimes 
is not you're not as you say you're you're not really sick and stuff sometimes you're just you're you're toxic and those drugs add a level, add more toxicity to the body and that causes people to to lose their life okay so that was um, mh128 that's one of my favorite authors right there and let me go and now unpack this again some other time but let's just go to something that it might be common to some of us here but it might not be common to the the world out there but the when the, the one of the quotes to talk about that eight laws and we talk about it being the eight laws of health and these things are free okay now we're going to unpack what these eight laws is about and how together in a daily use of it apply it or being obedient to it then disease will never come okay and i'm just gonna leave that as that there and go to this last thing here and leave it on here and then answer the last question that i'm going to take and just because I, I like to give people simple things that are simple and free it says it says sunlight helps to lower the blood pressure when the sun hits the skin it dilates the blood vessel and lowers the blood pressure. So simple sunlight is acting as a vasodilator, it's acting as a way to cause the blood vessel to dilate, to, to relax, and cause the blood to flow easily through the body. So ideally, we say at least 30 minutes of sunshine in a day, direct sunlight could help to lower someone's blood pressure. You know, a lot of us live indoors or have a sedentary lifestyle and have a indoorish kind of, everything is found inside. But we need to be back out, exercise, be back outside, taking sun baths. And these things are free. These things are healthy. Fresh air is also healthy and free as well. So I'm not going to go too much into that. I just want to end on this thing, but I just want to let you, you are not, you are not, you don't have high blood pressure. You are toxic. And I just want people to understand that you don't have high blood pressure. You are toxic. Okay? And so, if you can remove the toxicity, your blood pressure will come back to normal. Okay? So, let me just finish on this last call. This is the last minute. It's 7 o'clock. And so, I'm just going to finalize on this one call. If there's this one text, this one um, question over here. And we will say adieu and see you tomorrow because Tomorrow, we're going to have people coming on and we're going to have questions that is going to be able to, um, I know we says question answer, so it's going to be more questions and answer than anything else. And I'm just going to refer back to some slides or bring some information, current information and old information and bring it to, 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 to solidify certain things in your mind, in certain people's minds, so that they will know that the answer is right in front of them. Okay, the answer sometimes is right in front of you inside a yard and following a system of taking these things, combining them together in a systemic, systematic way will be able to give you the result that you desire and that people will be able to be made whole again. So let me just answer this last question here. Now, where where can you get more information? Ah, more information. More information, you can find more information as we talk about the book, it's um, detoxbook.shentoya.com. Detoxbook.shentoya.com. And also, you can get more information as well um, on our website, Inspired by God Ministry. Or just give me a call, 479-647-0824. 479-647-0824. All right? All right. Um, all right. Okay. You know, Something no, we're not dealing with di diabetes, we're not dealing with diabetes or anything right now, but they're all related, okay. And if you need information about um have questions about diabetes or another disease, then we'll have to do that at another time. And but you will do consultations. So if you're looking for consultation, we could do something like a one-on-one -on -one consultation over the phone 
Um, you could look on um, Shentoya, S-H-E-N-T-O-Y-A.com, Shentoya.com. And on the top of the page, there's a um, um, consultation or book an appointment. You could do that right there and you can schedule an appointment and you can get some questions answered. Or people who are familiar with our website, Inspired by God Ministry, you could go inspiredbygodministry.com and look to, for consultation and just fill out the consultation form and you get in, in touch with us there. I know there there's many diseases that we have to talk about and we got to go over it. And people will have a lot of questions. Today was, and this week is only going to be a blood pressure. And next week we're going to be doing another disease based on more, more questions coming in for like diabetes now coming in here. We might cover diabetes. If people have cancers or certain things, we got to share certain things with you and let you know that there's an answer. And, you know, my, 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 my favorite, one of my favorite brother always said there's an answer to cancer. <laughs> okay. So there's going to be an answer for cancer as well. All right. So let me just leave that as the way it is. And we'll stop right there. We'll take these notes and I'll put all the questions that we have in a, in the, in a, in the PowerPoint and be able to give answer and give results, give answer, give the answer, bring, share the question and give answer to it right there. So you'll be able to see some of the things that you could use. Okay. So I'll just end with that slide on there just to let the close off. Is there any question on my side here? No question on my side. I just want to let you all know it was a pleasure um, speaking and trying to answer some of the questions on this side. And I pray that you look into our book and I pray that you will be able to get some answers there if you're dealing with high blood pressure. I know we, we are um, reachable through the website and we could be able to talk more on these things. All right. So again, I want to close off right now. My name is Hollis Stewart. My wife's name is Shantoya Stewart, and we are Inspired by God Ministries. So if there's any questions or comments, you can call 479-647-0824, or in the bottom, this is for YouTube people, it's going to have the description in the bottom. In the com they're going to have the websites and everything in the, in the description. And please subscribe to our channel, and please ask questions so we could be able to address these questions and so by able to that help you to help somebody to be made whole again. Okay. And that's the whole idea behind going to be doing this, this Zoom calls so that we could be able to um, make clear to God's people um, whatever is going on. Okay. So again, I want to sign off. You all have a blessed day. And we'll see you again tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. Have a blessed day and good night.